iron is one of the most important metals in our body. What is it, what does it do, and why do we feel so awful when the levels are low? Well, the answer to that is the iron is found in our red blood cells. And if you remember your GCSE biology days, you'll remember that iron binds to oxygen, and that is how it's carried around the body. So if we are low in our iron levels, then we have a reduced capacity to carry around the oxygen. And that is the reason why we have so many various symptoms. So should we delve right into what these symptoms are? As you'd imagine, if you are lacking the ability to carry oxygen around your body, you're going to feel very tired and feel like you don't have any energy. In addition to this, because your oxygen carrying capacity is reduced, you're going to feel short of breath and it's going to lead to anemia because the iron isn't there to produce the red blood cells. So you may notice that you look pale or you might have palpitations because the heart is struggling to pump around blood that's slowly diminishing. So those are the most four common symptoms, but there are lots more that you may not think is related to iron deficiency. Here they are. You may notice that you have a sore tongue that sort of changed and it feels a bit tender in your mouth. In addition to that, you might find that the corners of your mouth have started to crack and become very sore and don't really heal when you use things like lip balm. You may also notice a strange taste in your mouth that's very different to how things in your mouth used to taste. You might find that you start craving things that are a bit bizarre, such as soil. You may look at soil and feel like, hmm, I wonder how that tastes. That is referred to as pica, and it is most commonly noted in pregnant women because they can become iron deficient during their pregnancy. If your iron levels are very low, they will start to affect your nails and they will become spoon shaped. You may have headaches that you didn't really have before or ringing in your ears referred to as tinnitus. And one of the most common symptoms patient present to me with is hair loss. You may notice that you're losing more hair than you normally did. But remember, it's okay to lose between 50 to 100 strands a day. That's part of our normal limit and the cycle of hair growth that our hair goes through. But if you're noticing clumps coming out or a lot more than you're normally used to, this can also be a sign of low iron. Now, there are a lot of different reasons why you may be iron deficient. If you're having periods, it may be that you're having heavy and long periods, so you're losing blood and the iron stores in your body. You may not have a good balanced diet with enough iron getting into your body, or there are some more serious and sinister causes to low iron, such as bowel cancer. Because what happens is that you slowly lose blood within your bowel and the iron goes with it. Iron deficiency is pretty straightforward to diagnose. We can do a blood test that tells us if you're anemic. So that's if your blood count is low. Those are the red blood cells. And two, we can actually measure the level of iron, the iron stores, and the proteins that actually hold the iron in your body. And then, depending on the cause of the iron deficiency, you can be given tablets to replace the iron in your body. One of the most commonest side effects of this is constipation and nausea. So a lot of my patients don't enjoy taking it. However, there are ways around this and that is to start building it up from using it every other day. Or you can just increase your own iron levels by eating foods that are rich in iron. I'm hoping this video gave you a better understanding of iron, why it is so important in our body, how it actually leads to these various weird and wonderful symptoms and what we can do to measure it and treat it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Bye.